Yeah. So, Colin McGuigan, IFL TV, good to see you. I want to ask you a question that a lot of people maybe don't ask. You've been with Reynoso's your whole career. We see fighters nowadays, like Errol Spence, for example, has this disagreement with Derek James. What has been the key to you staying forever loyal with Reynoso? I think that kind of thing is ego. Ego because, you know, when you lose, you 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 want to 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 say, ah, it's for his fault. No, my fault, it's his fault. It, that's ego. So uh, I think that happened with fighters. But, you know, you in a sport, you can lose, you can win, but I, you need to be loyal with your team. They grew up with you and, in my case, grew up with them and we are the best in the world right now. You know, if I was the other guy with my ego and say, hey, you, it's your fault, not my fault, when I fought Mayweather and I lose, maybe I I left them, but I know. I, I, I take my responsibility and I knew what happened and, and, and look, loyal is the best thing in, in the world because right now we are in the, in the very top. You're at the you know, tail end of your career. Has this reignited a spark inside Canelo Alvarez with the Puerto Rico-Mexico rivalry with Berlanga? You know, I, I love being involved in these kind of things because I already did with Miguel Angel Cotto, and it's amazing. The, the vibes and everything, the energy around the fight is, is amazing, and I, I'm glad being involved in, in other ones. Do you feel disrespected that... Every time Benavidez speaks or any of these people speak, they mention your name. I'll give you an example. I was at the Pacheco fight a couple of weeks ago. His father said that it is clear you're ducking Benavidez. Pacheco said the same thing. Do you feel that's disrespect? So no, look, they can say whatever they want, but if they don't talk uh, uh, with my name, nobody is gonna look in at them. So uh, I. I get it. I get it. They need, they need to speak my name to get the attention. So I get it. You've mentioned Conor McGregor this week. You said you want to fight him. No, what? I don't, say that. I don't say that. They asked me if I able to fight McGregor in some point and something, and I say, and I say, you never say no. Would you fight him? I can. I can say no. Maybe. I don't know. Do you believe a fight like that would possibly taint your legacy in the sport? Is mm -hmm. that why you would be, you know, reserved and maybe not do it? You know, it's not, it's not something I want for my legacy. But if it's for a lot of money, why not? So, last one for me. Anthony Joshua is in a massive fight against Daniel Dubois next week. You're obviously a former matchroom fighter. You're very close with Eddie Hearn. How do you think that fight goes? I think Joshua wins. But, uh, you know, he's boxing. He's boxing and he needs to take... Uh, care about the, the job, but uh, I, I, I'm with you, Anthony Joshua. This, this is the final one. You, you've made a name for yourself cursing in English when you started cursing in English, right? I know your face when you grimace there, but when a lot of people hear you, they laugh because they find it so yeah. funny. Did this start with Billy Joe Saunders? Because I look back, and before oh, that, you always used to start with, uh, yeah, remember after the yeah. fight with Billy Joe Saunders when. Dimitris Andrade comes and everything. Yeah, I started in that, that special night. What's your favorite curse word in English? I love when you say, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Sorry to my mother if she's watching this. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Uh, don't fuck with me. Uh, don't bitch. Yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> Canelo, thank you very much for your time, my friend. Thank you.